these back here. Oh, I don't even mean to do this, and I was like, oh, that was too easy. So right. Last time we played with the Subaru, we have noticed and come up with some ideas and found out that things aren't going to work the way we had them. Um, the engine is just too low in the car. The oil pan hangs too far down, and we are going to get another oil pan, but it's just too far down. And the main problem with that is the intake and accessories are so tall on the truck engines, and no one's put, uh, from anything I can find, no one has actually put a truck manifold set up in one of these cars and there's probably a reason for that um so and the other issue that we're going to have is that i don't know if you can see it but the steering and the header shaft there or the header and the steering shaft they are trying to basically live in the same spot and that's just not going to work so we are going to Pull the intake, pull the accessories, pull everything off the front of this engine, throw on all the stuff from the Z's motor, and we're gonna use that for mock up, and then we'll have to get a new set of accessories. So that's what we're gonna get into. Um, so, yeah, we had to pull the intake manifold and a bunch of other stuff out. Really? Oh, 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 top hit me there. Alright, so that's not really going to need to go back on right away because I still need to pick the motor up and move it. And like I said, we need to come forward and up. But we have tons of room actually in the, in the tunnel there, as you can see. So realistically, this isn't a bad... Well, it is bad because we have to buy all new accessories. That sucks. But outside of that obvious problem, it's not the end of the world. Just going to turn the touch here with the smallest 15 mil wrench I can find. Because it also happens to be the only 15 mil that I was finding. All right, so got some belts. What we got 15s for pretty much everything up here. off there. But she's a little wedged on there right now, so I'll put a little persuasion on it. <sighs> All right. Nice alternator. It actually looks like a newer alternator too. It looks like they probably had that replaced at some point. The water pump doesn't look that old either. Now trickier is going to be getting this off without making a giant mess. Shit. So something I didn't realize until just now is that we were using the bracket that is uh, the bracket for the alternator and uh, power steering to hold the motor up right now. So as soon as I just took that bolt out, the whole thing moved.
Terrible though. Alright, and like that, the uh, accessories are up the top, off the front of this thing. It's really not that much to it. That being said, jack stand forward because we've moved yep that for it so it should be about still where I want to be but we will have to go up which I will figure out in a minute okay Okay, so she is hella crooked and way too tall. That's not a problem there yet. But that does bring us way further up, which is okay. Not, not a problem there. All right, so our trans mount right there is in the way. That's our old trans mount. I was going to use it, but, uh, well, it's in the way. So I'm going to be cutting that out, and then I guess we'll be reinstalling it somewhere else. Or installing a new one, most likely. So, I'm going to get to cutting that out, and you guys have seen me cut stuff out enough times, I don't think I need to show you that again. So I'll catch you guys on the other side when I'm done. Uh, I might do this side, I might not. As of right now, it's not in my way, so we'll burn that bridge as we come to it. But, alright, I'm going to get to cutting. Hey, uh, so, yeah, we got a good cut out. Should give us plenty of room. We, uh, when I put this thing back up in the air, I'll cut the other side out and make it match. And give us plenty of room. But it's not in my way right now, and it's a real pain in the ass with the cut saw. The right angle drill, drill, whatever. <sighs> the grinder to cut off in this tiny little spot. So, got it done. It'll let me uh, move on to the next fun part of this project and uh, we'll go from there. Now, the, I can't tell if that's forward more or not. Or if it's up in the air more. Realistically, I can't tell. Skip a gauge and get an idea of what the uh, angle of the dangle is. So we're at six? Shut up. I'm going to push it too. I'm right about seven. So I'm too far up. Pull it out just a wee bit. 
gives us more room in the tunnel. I can go up a wee bit more. In the back. Six point five. any further than that. Tell you the truth. I mean the closer I can suck that tail shaft up to the inside here, the better. Got plenty of room to go up some more. Oh there's the problem. There's the rub. The jack. I'm gonna have to cut that up. That's all of the suck. Oh, it's all of the suck. First one was hard enough to cut out. I don't want to do another one. <laughs> but that gives my stock pan up underneath the freaking rotors right now at full droop. So that's a ton difference right there. Alright, fun time over. Pull it back out and cut the other mounts out. None of which I want to do. Oh, that's going to be fun. Alright, well, so in that case, I will uh, talk to you guys in a little bit because, again, you don't need to see me move the tranny for the 27th time. I might actually put the camera up so you can watch how I cut this out because it's super sketchy. I'm starting to hit there. And realistically, I'm about as high up in there as I want to be, I think. All right, so we got it all in. Uh, when I say we, I mean me, because Wilson never showed up. <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, after some cutting and some massaging, it's definitely up higher. I don't know if it's up high enough. Uh, obviously, we do need to do a new oil pan, and that was always going to be a... Uh, I was always concerned that was always going to be something we were going to do, but 
yeah, I, I don't know. It's up higher, which has definitely fixed a few of the issues. Um, turning the manifold around and bringing it up this way, and I think putting the turbo here, is definitely going to fix our steering issue. It definitely fixes our header issue. Um, and then we'll obviously get a, we'll get another one of these and turn it around and we'll bring this across the front somehow up underneath and whatnot and we'll collect in right here and our alternator Ooh, that's gonna be a fun trick where do we put the alternator because that is gonna bring everything down into heat I don't know we'll, we'll get to that point when we get to that point uh, accessories because normally with this particular setup the alternator goes here the power steering pump goes right here so realistically we could still put turbo right over here we just have to ma you know manage to maybe cut this manifold up and uh rework it a little bit but not the end of the world it's actually making some progress here uh, i feel better started today with three issues four issues steering was our steering coming down was one of them our header location was the other our oil pan was one and our clearance up top so i have fixed the clearance up top fixed the header fixed the steering fixed the oil pan eh. Made the other thing better and fixed the clearance up top. So now I just need to find a stock intake or some other type of intake. This does leave me some room to do taller intake things. Not much room, but some room. Hmm. That uh, Holly Mid Ram. That Holly Mid Ram, though. Look how tall that thing is. Hmm. I don't know. We'll get into that later. I'm spending parts that I don't have money for. <laughs> but, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Let us know what you guys think in the comments section. Let us know uh, what you think we should be doing here. I mean, I am not a professional. This is my second LS swap, but this one is biting off a lot more than I did the last one. Uh, Making all the mounts and all that stuff is, it's going to be fun, but it's challenging, which, well, makes it fun. But uh, like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.